my channel. Today I'm here with a very exciting video that I've been meaning to do for a very long time. In fact, the entire winter I was trying to do this one, I just couldn't get around to it. Today I'm here with my favorite cherry fragrances from my collection, you guys. I know I'm a little bit late doing this video because cherry fragrances are best for colder months, you know, fall and winter. I'm a little late bringing this to you, but you know what I figured instead of waiting until next full I should do it now and I know that some of you a lot of you actually are still in winter weather you live in colder areas although it's starting to be spring months you know you're still having that very cold weather so you probably still can wear this and the rest of us can wear them starting fall so I thought I would do it anyway so without further delay let's get into my cherry fragrances I want to start with the best cherry fragrance on the market right now, you guys. This is something that most of you guys know about. Um, it's very popular. In my opinion, it's the best cherry fragrance right now in the market. It is none other than Tom Ford Last Cherry. Oh, this, you guys. This is a beautiful, boozy cherry almond fragrance. I don't know any other fragrance that has this quality that Tom Ford's Last Cherry has. It is just quite unique. It's a unique, gorgeous, gourmet cherry fragrance. The cherry almond combination in here is divine. And that booziness is, is what makes it so delicious in my opinion. None of the other cherry fragrances I have here has that quality that this Last Cherry has. Uh, this one is quite the stunner. It's a very sweet cherry, almond, nutty, fruity, vanilla, woody, warm, spicy, amber, and boozy fragrance. So this has a gorgeous opening with that cherry, almond, and booziness. So it, it has sour cherry with almond and liquor. So that's the opening, such a beautiful opening with that boozy cherry, with that nuttiness. And in the middle, there are some gorgeous notes. You get another big dose of cherry and you get plum. That juicy plum adds that juiciness to it. There's Turkish rose and sambac jasmine. Amazing, gorgeous, fruity, floral middle. That plum adds that juiciness to it. You have a beautiful base here, you guys. It's a very complex base. Every gorgeous base note you can imagine is in here. This has a very vanilla heavy base because there are three layers of vanilla basically because van there's vanilla, there's tonka bean which accentuates vanilla that smells like vanilla and there's benzoin which also smells like vanilla. So it's a very vanilla heavy sweet base and then you get that beautiful spicy touch from cinnamon and cloves which are like gorgeous spices that are you know subtle enough but still noticeable that adds that layer to the fragrance. And there's puro balsam, which is a resin. And then there is vetiver adding that earthy quality. There's patchouli. And then there is sandalwood, which is very sensual. It's a sensual woody note. I love sandalwood. It's always so beautiful when you put that in the base notes. Best cherry fragrance out there. This is Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So this next one, you guys, I had ordered it and I was waiting for this one to film this video. I already knew this was an amazing fragrance and it arrived and I wore it a few days. Oh my goodness. This one is a strong cherry fragrance. You can smell the cherry so well. Beautiful dark cherry fragrance. This is Guerla La Petite Noir. You guys, this one is... Mmm... I can smell it from over here, you guys. This one is a strong cherry fragrance. You can smell that beautiful cherry in there. It's just really, really gorgeous. There's a note in here that really works well with cherry. I will get to that here in a second. This is a very sweet cherry, almond, nutty, fruity, vanilla, soft, spicy, rose and anise fragrance. So in the opening you get cherry, almond, bergamot and red berries. The opening is like very fruity, nutty and slightly citrusy. It's a beautiful sort of fruity cherry with a little bit of like citrus in the opening. And in the middle you get rose, taif rose, tea and licorice. So I find that licorice note really complements the cherry note in this fragrance. 
I don't think I have too many fragrances with the licorice note. You know, in general, in food and stuff, I don't really care for licorice, like to eat. But I like the smell of it in fragrances when blended with things like cherry. And this fragrance has a very slight, almost unnoticeable powdery touch in the base from that iris. So you get in the base vanilla and tonka bean, which is always a great pair, I feel, with the cherry note in a fragrance. Vanilla and tonka bean. Tonka bean is like vanilla with, with depth, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? It smells like vanilla, but it has more depth to it and this has patchouli which is what makes this project like crazy and last a long time and then there's anise which is kind of it doesn't smell like licorice but it's like a spice that has sort of licorice vibes and then this has iris which i think adds a little bit of a like a little hint of a powdery touch in the in the dry down gorgeous blend in here it's a very strong cherry fragrance that cherry in the opening actually stays throughout even though there's no cherry in the middle this cherry in the opening it just stays throughout it, it's a dominant 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 accord in here it lasts throughout the life of the fragrance on your skin on your clothes it's it's a very beautiful cherry you guys this one lasts a long time on skin and clothes this one's Guerla La Petit Noir. Next I have a huge cherry bomb, you guys. This is a beautiful cherry fragrance. The dominant accord in here is cherry. The top number one accord is cherry. This one is a beautiful, beautiful sweet cherry fragrance. I have not heard anyone talk about this fragrance. I don't know why. This should be talked about, you guys. This is a gorgeous gorgeous cherry fragrance and this house is known for its sort of synthetic vibes but cherry is a synthetic fragrance known anyway you guys and it's beautiful beautiful in here in this fragrance the cherry in here is gorgeous this is Montel intense cherry you guys here's the bottle beautiful 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 cherry fragrance by the way if you noticed i'm not spraying any of my cherry fragrances today because you don't need to you can smell it over here. Cherry is a very strong note, you guys. You can smell it. And these are very much uh, fragrances that project well and last long. The last fragrance that I'm going to talk about is the only one that doesn't last as long. It's only because it's a little less expensive, I think, but it still lasts much longer than other fragrances in its price range. So this one, you guys, is a very fashionable, edgy, kind of modern smelling cherry fragrance. And I know why. I will get to the notes and accords here in a second and you will know why. There's something very edgy and fashionable about this one. And it's also very, very feminine and you will see why the moment I tell you about the accords and notes in here. Such a beautiful, feminine, fashionable cherry. More people should be talking about this, I'm telling you. So you know now, you heard it on my channel. Like I said, cherry is the, the dominant accord in here, number one top accord. It's also sweet, it's powdery, it's musky. There you go, there you go. And it's vanilla, it's white floral. It is rose, it's nutty, it's slightly citrusy. Beautiful, there's florals in here that just really complement that cherry really really well it's a very modern very edgy kind of cherry fragrance i know why because there is musk in here there's powdery notes in here that makes it very feminine so in the opening this has sour cherry and citrus so it's a cherry citrus opening beautiful um i do like the booziness of the tom ford when you add that cherry with the the almond with the nutty and the booziness that's my favorite, but I gotta tell you, in this fragrance, that cherry with the citrus, beautiful. It complements what comes next in the middle and in the base. So in the middle, you get jasmine and rose, you guys, so pretty, you can't beat that combination. So in the base, you get vanilla, musk, and sandalwood, you guys, oh my god. So vanilla with that beautiful sweet touch, musk gives that edginess to this fragrance, and sandalwood gives that gorgeous sensual beautiful like mellow nuances to this in the dry down in the base gorgeous fragrance musk really adds that 
edge to this fragrance, which is why this smells fashionable, in my opinion. Every time there's musk in a fragrance, you guys, it kind of makes it edgy. Amazing fragrance. More people should be talking about this. This is Montal Intense Cherry. So next I have a fragrance, a cherry bomb, a beast, 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 the beast mode cherry that I'm going to talk to you about next. This one is beast mode, you guys. This is from Montel's sister house, Mancera, of course. This is Mancera Wild Cherry, you guys. This is from the Mancera Wild collection with this, uh, this animal print. This sure is wild, you guys. And this is a beast. Beast mode. I mean, this projects like crazy. And the sillage, the lasting power beyond expectations forever you can wear this you guys you wear this fragrance in one corner of your house the person in the other corner of your house will smell you and you walk past people they'll smell you for the next 30 seconds after you've walked past them and you can take a shower after wearing this fragrance and you will still smell like it that's what this is that's how beast mode this fragrance is obviously needed needless to say I don't need to spray it. Oh man, I will say this one is a strong fragrance. Strong. I mean, it will take your nose out if you spray it too close to your nose. Very, very strong cherry. So prepare for that. And the dominant accord in here, the top accord is of course cherry. This is kind of a powdery, citrusy cherry. It sounds, when you first say it, like those aren't accords that go together, but they do. The powdery, I thought powdery would be the last thing I would think that complement cherry, but it does. It really does. This is very powdery. There's a, a several powdery notes in here. Um, it's a very strong cherry that's in here. And of course, there are several citrus notes in here. So in this fragrance, you guys, the citrus is actually very present. It kind of cuts through the cherry, sort of balances it. To me, my nose is always looking in uh, cherry fragrances that, that quality from Tom Ford with the boozy cherry, the nutty boozy cherry. This isn't the nutty boozy cherry type. This is more of a cherry powdery citrus type, you know? The citrus in here, when I first got this fragrance and sprayed it and I was like, whoa, I don't know if this is for me because it was one, very strong. And two, that, that citrus in here, like I talked about other fragrances here that had the bergamot in the top notes, but it wasn't like really present, you know, like it wasn't like right there with the cherry. But in this fragrance, that, that Citrus is very present with that cherry, but cherry is still the boss in here. It is the dominant accord, but that citrus kind of cuts through the through the cherry and that powderiness kind of adds that sort of feminine touch to this. I would say, I mean, this is supposed to be unique sex, and of course men and women can both wear this, but in my opinion, this leans feminine only because of the powdery notes in here. And this also has something edgy about this fragrance as well. Very different kind of cherry fragrance, very strong cherry fragrance. The dominant accord in here, of course, you guys, is cherry. It's the boss. And it's also powdery. It's sweet. It's vanilla. It's iris. It's citrus. It's earthy musky and woody like i said you guys this has a very cherry citrus opening it has cherry not sour cherry cherry the kind of the dark cherry and it has bergamot and lemon and having those two citruses now if it had just been bergamot in my opinion i think it would have been better if it was just cherry and bergamot and not also lemon but because there are two citrus notes in here, when you first spray it, it's very like cherry and citrus kind of opening, which is nice. But to me, I'd like that citrus to be toned down slightly a little bit in the opening, just in the opening, obviously. I mean, the citruses die down though, however, after like the first few minutes, the citruses go away in the opening and that cherry lingers throughout the lifetime of this fragrance on your skin and clothes, the cherry stays. 
And in the middle, you guys, it's a very powdery kind of notes you get. So in the middle, you get heliotrope, which is a purple blue flower, which tends to have powdery nuances to it. And orris, which also is a note that tends to have powdery nuances to it. So it's kind of has a, a that powderiness, the strong powderiness in the middle. And also you get patchouli and jasmine. So patchouli being in the middle of this fragrance is probably why you guys, this is a beast. This is beast mode. This projects a lot. The sillage is crazy. The lasting power, amazing. And I have a feeling that has to do with patchouli being in the middle. Because when have you heard of patchouli being in the middle notes, you guys? Usually patchouli is always in the base notes because it's a very strong fragrance note that actually contributes to longevity of fragrances usually. So the patchouli being in the middle of this fragrance, which is I think the first time I ever saw that, unless I'm forgetting, um, patchouli is not usually in the middle notes, you guys. So patchouli being in the middle here probably has to do with the fact that this is an absolute beast, you know? And of course you get that gorgeous jasmine in the middle, which adds that beautiful floral touch to this fragrance. And in the base you get vanilla and musk, you guys. And I feel like vanilla is a must for cherry fragrances to add that beautiful sweet touch. Most cherry fragrances seem to have tonka bean, vanilla, benzoin, all three, two, or at least one of those, you know, in the base notes, which I think is amazing. Musk adds that edginess to this perfume. This also has that sort of edginess about this fragrance. This is different from the Mantau one for sure. This has a different vibe. This one is a very strong kind of beast mode cherry. It was hard to find this fragrance, you guys, anywhere else on any other retailers. It was just sold out everywhere. It's only available on Mancera, the website, and that's where I got it from. It's hard to find this fragrance. It's an absolute beast, you guys. It is Mancera Wild Cherry. Next, I have a gorgeous, 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 sexy, 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 sexy date night fragrance for you guys. And I included this in my uh, top fragrances for date night video. I will link it up here and down in the description box. It's a super sexy stunner, stunner, stunner. There's a beautiful cherry accord in here, you guys. It's not supposed to be the top accord, but it's very strong in here. You can really, really smell the cherry in here. And in my opinion, that cherry is what makes this fragrance really sexy. It really adds that sort of extra layer to this fragrance, if you will. This is Scandal by Night, Jean-Paul Gaultier. So this one, you guys, mm, oh, the most sexy fragrance. It's one of the most sexy fragrances in my collection, you guys. I love the way I feel when I wear this. This is one of my top date night fragrances, you guys. This is definitely a nighttime fragrance. You could wear this one during spring if you want to, but only at nighttime. You can pull this off in the warmer months if you wear it at nighttime when it's a little cooler. This is definitely a nighttime fragrance. Even in the colder months, it's a nighttime fragrance. So sexy. The original, this is the flanker of the original Scandal, which is just a honey bomb. This one is so much more than the original, you guys. This one is the sexy one, you know? The original is sexy too, don't get me wrong, but this one is super sexy. It's a very sweet, honey, vanilla, cherry, white floral, tuberose, amber, warm, spicy, citrus fragrance. This has a very honey citrus opening. Honey is just in the top notes. It doesn't really linger through. Um, there are some citruses in this fragrance in the top notes. So in the middle you get cherry, you guys. Uh, just cherry, not sour cherry. It's a very beautiful gourmet cherry. And you get that beautiful pear note, which is always a very feminine fruity uh, note, which makes it things very sexy. Like uh, La Belle by Jean Paul Gaultier has that pear note that make, makes that fragrance very sexy. Like that, this has that pear with that cherry that makes it a beautiful, like, gourmet, fruity sexiness in the middle. And then you get gorgeous white florals like tuberose and orange blossom. And you get nard, the Himalayan nard, which is kind of a uh, slightly herbally aromatic note, which is like a sexy herbally note, like, you know, the Chloe Nomad 
how that has that sexy herbaliness that's kind of like usually herbaly doesn't really go well with sexy but there are some herbaly notes that are that, that had that sort of like layer that makes it sort of like unsuspectingly sexy you know like it's very beautiful and the bass you guys the bass oh the bass so gorgeous it has amazing delicious sensual and edgy notes in the bass you guys so there's tonka bean and vanilla in the bass you guys which adds that strong vanilla scent to this beautiful it's kind of like a dark vanilla sexy base and then you get amber wood and musk which both of them tend to give fragrances this sexy edge and then you get patchouli and sandalwood patchouli for that lasting power sandalwood is very sensual oh it's such a sexy sexy date night cherry if you ask me this is jean paul gautier's scandal by night Next, I have a very popular cherry fragrance, you guys. Now, this one is different from the other ones I talked about. I noticed that all the cherry fragrances I have here have something unique about them, you know, like something different from each other. They're each a different type of cherry that gives you a different flavor, you know what I mean? And in the same token, this one is a very different kind of cherry too. This one is a very like different type of a cherry. This one is a very sweet, vanilla, powdery, kind of slightly smoky type of cherry. So this one is BDK Rouge Smoking, you guys. Oh, this one's a beauty. Mmm. Mmm. Very beautiful. There's a very strong vanilla accord in here with that cherry so it's a very vanilla cherry it has like a little bit of a dark quality like a little slight smoke quote smoky quality which i understand now why rouge smoking it's red it's cherry it's also slightly smoky powdery this is vanilla sweet cherry powdery amber musky almond woody and balsamic fragrance you guys so this has the the best opening you guys this has cherry pink pepper and bergamot so cherry with that gorgeous cherry accord of course and then pink pepper with that sort of sweet spiciness and then that slight citrus from bergamot beautiful slight freshness from bergamot beautiful kind of like sexy opening and in the middle you get a big dose of vanilla so vanilla is not in the base of this fragrance you guys it's in the middle so it makes that vanilla scent even stronger very very vanilla cherry this one and then there's heliotrope which is a purple blue flower that gives it that sort of powdery touch and then there is orange blossom which gives it that beautiful floral white floral gorgeous touch orange blossom is such a pretty flower and in the base you get uh, tonka bean you guys so there's vanilla in the middle and then there's tonka bean in the base so vanilla being in the middle makes that vanilla chord really strong and then there's tonka bean in the base which kind of reinforces it so it's a very strong vanilla cherry in the base this also has labdanum which is kind of like a, a note that has like a leather nuances to it and then, then this has cashmere wood and musk with that edginess and there's ambroxin in here which sort of softens it all up like almost adds this like marine freshness to the base which is kind of like lightens this up i guess like makes it uh, a little bit more fresh and in the base you also get a violet which is also another purple blue flower that adds to that powderiness in the in the middle that you have oh it's gorgeous i think that ambroxan really sort of adds that layer that other cherry fragrances here don't have it makes this almost kind of i'm not gonna say an aquatic cherry that's that's not what i'm going where i'm going but ambroxan adds that freshness which makes this an appropriate cherry actually that you can even wear if you want to in springtime and even summer but i would prefer to wear this in colder months but it is a fragrance that if you want to because of that ambroxan note in here that you can wear in spring and even summer months so sherry fragrances are usually not meant for spring and summer months you guys but because of the fact that there is ambroxan in here this really lightens this this fragrance up makes it wearable for spring and summer months as well if you want to you could probably wear this at nighttime in spring and summer months 
even actually daytime if you want to. It's there's something very uh, marine that that Ambroxan adds that lightness to this fragrance but there's also a smokiness to this fragrance you guys oh by the way that vanilla in the middle did i not mention it's black vanilla which is i think where that smokiness comes from you guys there's a slight smokiness uh, to this fragrance and that's why i say that i would still prefer to wear this in colder months even though that ambroxan adds that light touch to it because of the smoky quality, but I tell you, it's like a, a balance there. This could go, what I'm trying to say is this could go colder months or like nighttime in warmer months, you know? You could wear it and you could even pull it off during the day. It's a very unique fragrance. It's nothing like the other fragrances, other cherry fragrances I talked about. They're all for sure fragrances that you should only wear in colder times you know whether it's nighttime or colder months this one however can go all year round if you want it to so this is bdk rouge smoking so next i have a fragrance you guys that's really beautiful it's from a very prestigious brand however it's been discontinued unfortunately you can still find it but not very easily and i have the limited edition bottle here it is the least de cartier so this is from Cartier, you guys, obviously. Mm, this is a very sophisticated, expensive smelling cherry. Love this one. Unfortunately, it's been discontinued. Like I said, I have the limited edition bottle, which is why you have all this gold. It's usually like a red bottle. I'll put a picture up here. Uh, like I said, this one is a very sophisticated cherry, you guys, if that makes sense. It's very kind of refined. Dominant, dominant according here is cherry, you guys. It's very sweet. It's amber. It's powdery. It's soft spicy. It's vanilla. It's nutty. It's musky. It's violet. It's floral. In the opening, this has uh, similar notes to one of the other ones I talked about. So in the opening, this has a similar opening from as the other the one I talked about. This has cherry pink pepper and bergamot in the opening pink pepper with that sweet spicy touch it's kind of a sexy note you know and then there's cherry there's that uh, bergamot with the freshness in the middle you get a beautiful bunch of florals uh, some white florals and some purple flowers so it's violet jasmine and freesia and in the base you get a huge dose of tonka bean so it gives that vanilla sort of base and there's amber which adds that very like edgy sort of sexy touch to the fragrance. There's musk adding to that sexiness and then there's sandalwood which is very sensual. It's just the composition is very sophisticated. It smells sophisticated. So this is the, the sophisticated cherry from all the cherries that I showed you guys. It smells really beautiful. Unfortunately, it's been discontinued. I almost didn't include it in this list, but I really wanted to talk to you guys about it in case you can still get your hands on it. Just be careful if you don't buy it from Cartier itself. So this is Delice de Cartier. So last but not least, I have the affordable cherry fragrance of my list here. This one is a new addition to my collection and I'm so glad I did. And some affordable fragrances are so amazing. Just because the price is low doesn't mean it's a bad product, you guys. I mean, seriously, too many of us get too caught up and hung up on brand names and niche fragrances and everything and you miss out on beautiful, affordable gems like this one. So this one is a new addition. This one is a very gourmet cherry. This one is Dark Cherry and Ember by Banana Republic. Like I said, this is a new addition to my collection, you guys. This one is so beautiful. This one is very gourmet. I mean, cherry is a sort of edible note, but what makes this gourmet is that praline note in here, you guys. This one is very unique out of all the, the ones that I talked about. Cherry is a main player in here. It's very sweet cherry, very sweet cherry because of that um, like gourmet notes in here. This is a very sweet cherry, amber, nutty, floral, woody, fruity, almond, and slightly lactonic, lactonic from that praline note. Fragrance, you guys. So this opens with sour cherry and freesia, which freesia, instead of that very strong citrus note, um, it's actually pink freesia, I believe. And in the middle, you get 
praline, you guys, giving that strong gourmet touch to this. Very edible kind of cherry. And it has cherry blossom, which is beautiful with that praline in the middle. And in the base, you get red amber and cedar, you guys. Oh, that amber in here is just beautiful. The, the red amber and cedar in the base, very kind of edgy, kind of woody amber base. This one is a very much a gourmet cherry. This is Dark Cherry and Amber by Banana Republic. So that's it you guys. That's all the gorgeous cherry fragrances in my collection that I love and adore. This winter I was craving cherry fragrances you guys. I was on the hunt to get more and more cherry fragrances and these are the ones that I ended up with in my collection. I am very happy with each and every one of them. By the way, do you guys know any other gorgeous cherry fragrances that I missed or I don't have? If you do, please let me know down in the comments section, you guys, what kind of cherry fragrances you guys have. I would love to add more cherry fragrances to my collection. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think cherry is a very beautiful fruity gourmet accord to have in fragrances that kind of gives it a very like sexy touch in a very sweet fruity gourmet way. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload and you won't miss any of my videos. If you don't tell YouTube that you want to watch my videos, they're not going to push it to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next video.